Hi guys, I am doing a video today on buying on a budget. Now I know I showed you a video, or I did a video a few days ago, or was it yesterday? I don't honestly remember which day I put it up. About, you know, different ways to make money on different internet websites. And it's, it's not a ton of money, but you know, you can make some money on some websites that you can either use to buy PayPal gift cards, Amazon gift cards, eBay gift cards, whatever. So, some people will use that and purchase new things where personally, like I would do the eBay gift cards or the PayPal gift cards, or the PayPal money, I should say, not gift cards, because you can turn around and use that in lots of different places. eBay, you can get lots of used things. I do get stuff from Amazon, but a lot of my Amazon purchases, I don't purchase for my dolls. Most of my Amazon purchases are purchases for my kids. So if I get an Amazon gift card, I'm typically going to use it to purchase something that I needed for my household. But there is a whole slew of different websites that you can use to purchase things used. And you don't have to have the top of the top, best of the best. Um, personally, I find something I want, and when I find it at a price I can handle, and it's I have the money currently for it, I will get it. Um, there are times that I've let fantastic deals go on something that I needed, just because I didn't have the money at the time. As well as, you don't need that top of the line $600 even used stroller. They're dolls, truthfully, they, they don't care. So if you can find either one free or one truly inexpensive, um, here are a few different websites that you can use to find different things. Um, first off is Facebook Marketplace. And there is a lot of Facebook buy, sell, trade pages, but Facebook now, sorry, Teffy's tail is in the line. Thank you, Teffy. Um, there's Facebook Marketplace now where you can, a lot of the stuff is combined so you can search things in your area. Like I am doing 40 miles with, from my home area because that is as comfortable as I am driving outside of that area. Some people don't want to go 40 miles. To me, 40 miles is doable. In fact, I've gone even further than 40 miles for things. It just depends upon how much it costs, how much it would cost in gas to get it. And a few other little factors, but like my um, baby jogger stroller, that I got at such a fantastic price. I think it took an hour, it was an hour drive to get it, an hour drive back, so two hours. But for what I paid for it, it was such a steal. Even like the gas and the tolls made it worth it. As well as it just gave my husband and I, like literally we went and picked it up and came home. But you know, just a little quick trip out of town. An excuse to go out of town. So anyways, um, I have just clicked on the family section. You can go further into the family section. So as you can see, like somebody locally is selling newborn to six month clothes. A lot of bags of them are $20. Um, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, look at here. You can get a, I could get a car seat for $22 with the base. Uh, Kiko one. Or there's this bride tax one for $100. Or we can go $60 and get a stroller and car seat. Or there's a $400 double stroller, which for a real child, that is a steal because that is a city select. I, wanna, or I should say that's a decent price, but I mean, it also depends upon the brands. And then you do get some sellers that have like a cheapy stroller and they want brand new prices for it. But, you know, you can find deals like right here, $35 for a double and it's a sit and stand on top of that. But, you know, there's different things in here, um, and it's all going to depend upon your area and such. So, I'm just going to click on baby and kids, kind of weed out a few more things. So, I've got some strollers, I've got a playpen, a rock and play for $15. So, you can kind of get the idea. You can find pretty good deals on here, like here, a double Graco stroller for $28. Excuse me, I had a burp. Actually, I have hiccups. Kind of moving air on. But anyways, um, 
you know, there's some good deals, there's some not so good deals, there's some people that think that they're selling gold. Um, like this car seat right here is $25. It's a Costco car seat that you can buy new at Walmart for $40. And somebody was trying to sell one locally for $65. So, like I said, you know, you just kind of need to know. Or like here, you can get a travel system, a stroller, and a car seat for $50. And, and I mean, this is just local to my area. Where... I know when I lived in Minot, I could have got a travel system, especially since it was up by an Air Force base and when it was PCS season or moving season, people were moving and just wanting to get rid of stuff cheap. Uh, I got my double bob for my kids for like $50. Was it an older model? Yes, but it still worked. The tires still held air. The tires were still in good condition. The, the stroller itself was in pretty good condition for its age. Um, but, like, I was looking recently for Heather um, for an inexpensive stroller from when we went to the meetup. And I did find one for $10, but she ended up not getting that. But a lot of, like, there were some people in that area that, once again, they were, like, wanting gold prices. But, like, even here, $15 for a car seat and stroller so honestly like if you're looking for inexpensive items you know pick your budget okay I want a car seat and I want a stroller but I can only spend $25 well come to marketplace look around see what you can find you might be able to find it um sometimes you can't find it you know it, it's honestly for their dolls they, they can wait there's a few things that I really want to get for my dolls, but being their dolls, it isn't something that I absolutely have a need for right now. So I can sit around and wait until I find what I want and be picky about it and get it at a good price. Where, you know, if you're having a baby, I wouldn't buy a used car seat personally unless it's a trusted seller. But, you know, strollers, as long as everything's working on them, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, once again, like you can find, mostly what you find on Marketplace is going to be bigger items like play pens, strollers, you do find a few things like bottles, there's some cloth diapers, um, blankets, bassinets, like typically I, if I'm going to be purchasing local, I'm going to be purchasing like the bigger things that I, are going to be expensive to send. Uh, so, I pick a price, um within a budget that I'm comfortable with and I go from there so yeah I'm just scrolling through this there are other local sites like there is a Virage sale and here um, type in what I'm looking for say for instance I'm looking for strollers so I type in stroller and then local to me strollers pop up and yeah so once again it's going to be you know a seller can ask what they want for a set like right here $140 for an Urbini stroller and car seat set you can, you can go to Walmart and usually get them on sale for cheaper than that I've seen them at Walmart for about that price um, or even like this one uh, a Britax Be Safe which actually this car seat has been retired the two bases and the stroller for $300. If you shop around new deals, you might be able to find something same price, if not better, brand new, and you're going to get the new stroller or new car seat. But there are good deals, like here's a stroller for $10. Here's one for 7 And once again, these are, I just searched so, strollers. But... Our local garage sale doesn't really have much on it because most people do honestly use Facebook. And um, another like looking local place is called OfferUp. And you can search different categories here. So let's go kids and baby. And once again, you can find some stuff you will find on Facebook or other that people have doubled up on different sites. Like, I saw this giraffe on Facebook as well. But there are a few things on here that I didn't see on Facebook, like uh, 
rocking chair for $10. A bouncer rocking chair, and it looks to be a newer one in good shape. If that's what you're looking for, I mean, that's a great, fantastic idea. Or this still looks like it's sold a, um, a nice pack and play. Um, you can get some pretty good deals on clothes, too, sometimes. I just, I'm not necessarily, like, for my dolls especially, I'm not buying clothes just for the sake of buying clothes. I'm a little bit picky. So, that's where I either purchase new or if I'm looking for something specific on eBay. So, yeah, I just kind of look through and, you know, see if there's anything that is what you would like for your dolls. Because, once again, they're dolls. It's a, it's a want, not a need. Um, just like I have had strollers and such that... Are they particularly what I wanted? But no. But what I paid for them at the time, and that's what I could afford at that time, and that's what I I wanted for my dolls was like a car seat and stroller combo. Um, another one is Craigslist, and I've already clicked on the kids section. So Craigslist, um, people are using it less and less, I've noticed. And... Sometimes you can get some really good deals because people will list something on Craigslist and that's the only place they list it. And not a whole lot of people look on Craigslist. Um, but once again, I saw this on another site. Um, there's going to be some things that, you know, are doubled up on Craigslist that were on Facebook or on OfferUp or on um, Virage Sale. But, like, I've got my uh, four moms bouncer room. Yeah, that's the bouncer. I paid $15 for it. I had to pay $15 to get the toy bar for it because it was missing it. The lady said it was broken, but I contacted for moms and they showed me how, they told me how to reset it. So honestly, I was able to reset it and it's worked fine since. And this has caught my eye. A travel light crib for $15. Oh, it's missing. Oh, does it have the bassinet and such? No, it doesn't look like it does. Um, like, the travel, the great, the Graco travel crib is actually smaller than a pack, pack and play. They're really nice. I've had them in the past. Um, that's in my one video of the dirty pack and play. I was so sad about that because it was a travel crib, which they're smaller than a pack and play. But yeah, so, I mean, you can find good deals on all of it, uh, just like anything. There are good deals to be had, there are not so good to deals to be had, and there is steals to be had. Um, then there is also a website called Macari. Um, there I know are people that absolutely love this site. Um, I know there are some people that are a little frustrated with this site because I've personally never bought anything from Macari. But I have seen people who have purchased something from Macari and then the seller must get like an offer. They haven't sent it yet and they get an offer from somebody else to purchase the item at a higher price. So they cancel your sale to sell it at a higher price to somebody else. Which is dishonest, yes. And... um. I'm not, I've never sold on Macari either, and I've heard it's quite a process to sell on it. So, that's kind of why I, I haven't really dove into the buying and selling on here. Because it, they, I don't think they use PayPal, and I don't think they use, um, or like Google Wallet, I think is what it's called. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people that like Macari. I have found stuff that I'm interested in. Um, my other issue with it is, like, I will search stuff that I'm looking for, and my biggest annoyance is, you'll get, like, 8 million sold. Like, here, we'll go Baby Jogger. And oh, some of them will come up, different things, and then you will start running into that it'll have, like, right here, sold. 
Why are they still showing it on here? I mean, it's sold. I can't purchase it. I don't need to see that it's sold. Or like right here. Here's one that's sold. Or these adapters that's sold. Because there's times that I've been looking for like these adapters. Right here. And I've actually typed in Baby Jogger adapters. And all I get is like a bunch of sold listings. Well, that doesn't do me any good. I, I can see if they have, like, all the sold listings at the end. And I have yet to even find a way to filter out the sold. Because you can have the, you can search for online, or on sale, or sold. But you can't search, you can't take out sold listings. That, that, that's what really drives me nuts about this website. I find something I need or want, it's a price I, I would be willing to pay, and then it's sold and it's frustrating to me. So that's part of the reason why I have not purchased from here, is purely frustration. Um, then you've got your typical eBay, uh, that, you know, I'll just do Jimbleri B. So, like the Jimbleree B line. And then here's different things in that. So, I mean, it, most people know how to use eBay by now. But you can get, once again, on eBay, you can get some good deals. You can get some great deals. You can get some not-so-great deals. Um, like, I had a box opening last week. I think it was. Yes. Last week I had a box opening video of two dolls that I got on eBay. And after I did the box opening, like you saw my reaction with the box opening, I went straight to eBay and contacted the seller and the seller took them back right away. So clearly the seller knew, because I took a bunch of pictures, was like, this was not described in the auction. Like, you could tell the dolls were a little bit dirty in the auction, but you couldn't tell that literally t both feet and I think both hands were chewed on by a dog. There was nail polish all over the face, the eyes, the head, the hands. Like, none of that was remotely described in the auction. Um... I was able to get the baby to turn on, but the condition the baby was in, what I paid, they were not worth it. The That was for the Generation 6, and the Real Care 2 Plus, I couldn't even get to charge. And then I opened it up to try to take the computer out to unplug the batteries to see if I could get the, um, the electronics themselves to work, and to see if it was just the batteries that that's what the reason was and both of the screws were stripped like I couldn't even get the electronics out of the doll they were stripped to the point you couldn't even get it open or and get a screwdriver in to open and pull it out it was it was bad so both of the dolls went back obviously they were together and the seller didn't even argue on that so, you know, that in, in the beginning, it looked like that was a super great deal for the two dolls. And, you know, buying them, they were sold as is and buying as is as a crapshoot. But when I contacted eBay, I'm like, you know, it's one thing to sell something as is. And it's another thing when these are like literally I opened the box up and they jumped out at me. This wasn't something that the seller couldn't list. Like... Selling as is, especially with baby think it overs and real cares to me, are I don't have the items to test them. I don't know if the electronics work or not. That is an as is buyers taking a risk. But in this case, like there were many cosmetic issues with that generation six that the seller could clearly see. So the the seller was in the wrong for not describing eBay. They, they instantly took the return back 
eBay, when I called eBay before I even processed it, because my biggest concern was, do I have to pay shipping back on these? Because it, it wasn't as described in the auction. In fact, it just said two working dolls haven't been able to, or no, two dolls haven't been able to test the electronics. That's all it said. And no cosmetic mentions. So when I called eBay about it, I'm like, okay, this, it's a very generic description, as well as they, there's things that should have been described that are screaming obvious, and they're like, no, in cases like this, if the seller tries to fight it, the seller will have to pay shipping back to them, and then refund you, as well as, um, if they try to fight it, you would be able to win because the description is very vague. Like, if you describe everything, like, when I sell mine, I describe what everything's coming with. I take detailed pictures of what everything's coming with. Um, the pictures in this auction were very, they were small pictures, and they were very blurry. So you really couldn't even tell necessarily from the pictures. Like, it looked like there was a little bit of possibly like makeup or paint or something on the generation six but it was clearly nail polish all around the eyes and in the eyes so i mean these were things that the seller could have easily put in the description and they did not um so i went on a thing about that but yeah there's ebay everybody knows about ebay and then you have swap.com I use swap.com a lot. Uh, there's codes every so often. Excuse me for free shipping. There's codes for discount. There's periodically discounts on the website. Some things, once again, you know, you gotta know your price is new. I've seen things on here that I, I scratch my head and, like, who does the pricing on these? Um like right here an old navy shirt and they're saying this is $15 value and you're getting it on sale for $4.50 okay I know you er, I know that old navy has gone up in prices but I do not believe brand new this shirt would have cost $15 so I don't know who or how they do the prices on these um like I said, it's once again kind of no, or like here, this is a want or an old Target brand, the Crico brand. And they said it was worth $13. No, it wasn't. It was never worth $13. You bought it at Target, this hoodie, you may have paid $10 at most. So, I've seen things on here for inflated prices I've seen things on here for great prices so you know just kind of know your prices know what you want know what you're willing to pay if you're not willing to pay a certain amount then don't pay then don't just because you want it doesn't mean you have to pay the higher price um, like I've seen lots of people like go on and on about how they want mama roos for their dolls once again, it's not needed. But, like, looking on my local marketplace, I've seen Mama Roos go for, like, $30 to $40. Like, honestly, there was one that I I considered buying for Crystal. But then I remembered, even when they're taken apart, how big they are. And, you know, she was going to need room in her suitcase for stuff she was buying. Not just this Mama Roo. And then where would she put it when she got home? Like she would need to find space for it. So, I mean, I've seen Mama Roo's inexpensive, so you don't need to go out and buy brand new. Like right here, uh, Spider-Man washcloth mitt for $2.50 and it's on sale. That probably came from the dollar store. Or this Angel of Mine bottle, which I do know came from a dollar store, $4.00. So some of these things, I don't know who prices them. Um, I've never sent stuff into swap.com. So I don't know if I send it in and then they take the pictures and I pick the price and it's a consignment type deal. 
or if they price it and then I get a cut in it, I'm not exactly sure. And then speaking of consignment, uh, another, another great, fantastic place, especially for clothes, is see if there's local consignment sales near you or secondhand stores like Once Upon a Child. There is two secondhand stores, one I've taken you guys to before, another one I haven't been at, um, they just moved. So I, once my kids go back to school, when I don't have kids with me, I've considered maybe taking a drive to finding this other consignment sit store, um, seeing how their prices are and what they've got. Um, also, like, the big consignment sale that happens twice a year is coming up um, in September. Yeah, end of September this year. Uh, and then there's another one that I went to this spring that's around the same time as that big consignment sale. It's kind of a smaller one. And I was disappointed in that one. The prices weren't as good as the bigger consignment sale. And they really didn't have much. Like, honestly, leaving there, I think I got, like, a boppy cover. And it had bees on it, and that's the only reason why I bought it, and it was like $3. Um, and I got my daughter some stuff. I got her like a bow, and one other thing. But, um, yeah, they, I wasn't impressed with that one. I honestly don't think I'll go back to that one just because... I felt like it was a waste of time, and I'm glad that I got a free pass to get in the night before, or the day before. It actually opened to the general public. So I got a free pass to get in, and yeah, I, I like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't too impressed. But like, once again, know your prices. So these are just some ideas to get things inexpensively. Um, there is a website called... Free cycle that used to be up. I'm not sure. I haven't looked. I haven't looked recently. I do know on Facebook that in my area there is a f or free only website where you sometimes find free things on there. So that's another option. So I hope you enjoyed this video on ideas and I will see everyone later. Bye.